it's about the dream itself. The here is referring to the dream experience right. that has just been recounted. And he has this primary spiritual experience. God was in this place, and I knew it not. That the dream itself is the primary vehicle for the awakening of the felt sense of the presence of the divine. And that continues true to this moment, to this instant. The dream has always been and continues to be the primary experiential evidence of the reality and importance of an unseen world that cannot be measured by the tools of science. Now, we live in a world where that fact that it can't be measured by the tools of science has been slowly presented to us as proof that it's unimportant and doesn't even exist. But the dreams keep reminding us that that's not true. Even if we are mired up to our waists in rationalist materialism, every night the dreams come in the service of health and hold us and remind us that that is not the whole truth and that the source of the truth beyond the seemingly physical is a truth that we access primarily in symbolic form, primarily through narrative, and with increasing sequential insights. I would like to propose for the purposes of tonight's discussion, which I hope everyone will be involved in fairly quickly, that there are essentially two ways to get your religion, law and story. And the primary advantage of law is that it applies equally to everybody and promotes community. The problem, the archetypal, inescapable, eventually it will fall in your lap no matter what you do problem is that the more serious you are about using law as your primary means of approach and experience of the divine is that it will grow because the deep truth is there is no place where God is not. And it means that the whole 24-hour cycle is filled with the divine and if my primary way of communing with the divine is the law, then the whole 24-hour cycle will eventually be completely taken up with doing those things which are required and avoiding those things which are forbidden. And it is a closed system. And any spiritual seeker worthy of his or her salt is going to enter that closed system recognize the boundaries, turn in all sincerity to trying to refine the way that the law is being fulfilled, and will eventually come to a place where, as Buckminster Fuller says in his wonderful book of the same name, your God is too small. And there will be terrible emotional and psychological trauma when the realization that this whole life that I've spent sincerely devoting myself to communion with the divine via the fulfillment of the law was inadequate. Uh, there is no way to get to that point and not be overcome with anguish. The primary advantage of using story, and I'm sure those of you who have any idea about who I am just because of the way I'm dressed will know that I'm a story man rather than a law man to begin <laughs> with. The primary advantage of story is that anything worthy of the noble name story is going to have multiple meanings, <laughs> multiple layers of implication and sense. And different people are going to discover those different multiple layers at different moments in their lives. So one of the inescapable and tragic consequences of using story as the primary means of accessing the divine is that it breeds heresy, not a term I like, but it breeds what gets called heresy by the orthodox and fragments communities. It's very, very difficult to maintain community, even if you have agreed on the story that you're sharing. And since dream is a primary means of encountering our stories, our dreams tend to be different enough from one another that even paying regular attention to our dreams brings us to different places in our evolving stories. 
The great advantage of story is that it is not a closed system like law. There is always another place to go. The more advanced one becomes in encountering the divine through story, the fewer companions one is going to have. So one of the downsides of encountering the divine through story is that it is lonely making. Ultimately, the seeker ends up alone. <laughs>